Welcome to Driveway Garage. Can you tell by the way I'm dressed that it's cold outside? 36 degrees right now. Yesterday or the day before, the high was 70 degrees. Today, the high is going to be 46 degrees, so I was really liking that weather. It's nice working on cars when it's 70 degrees versus almost freezing. Well, today I'm working on a 2001 Kia Sophia. I just picked it up. And supposedly the people didn't know this because I messaged them afterwards when the battery died and I found out the alternator's no good. They said they had it on a trickle charger because it's been sitting for most of the last year and they didn't know the alternator was bad. And to thicken the soup, they said they replaced the alternator six months ago. So why do you replace the alternator if you're not driving it? But they gave me the receipt so I can take it back, try to exchange it. But uh, I'm going to show you real quick how to test the battery alternator. At least the alternator. Um, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to remove the alternator and take it down to Napa. And see if I can exchange it for a new one. Let me turn this around. So as you're looking at the front of the car on the driver's side, there's the battery. And, of course, my memory sucks, so I watch videos every time I do something to make sure I'm doing it right or not forgetting something. So I got out my digital meter, and I set it to DC volts, and I put it on 20, like that. And then I held the positive on the positive and the negative, so red on positive on the battery, black on negative. And I got a reading of it was about 12 and a half volts, something like that. Then I started the car, and if your alternator's working, it should jump up to 14 something. Mine didn't, it didn't change. It was still running just off the battery. So then I took the voltmeter, and then this one, the alternator, it's not too bad, but it's not it's not easy, but it's not too bad. It's right down there. The hardest part, not getting it disconnected, is going to be fishing it out of this hole. Because I had this power steering pump line in the way, uh, which I could disconnect this bracket, give me a little bit of room. The speedometer box is here. I think I'll unbolt that and get that out of the way. I got a vac, some kind of, oh, that's the fuel rail, so... I guess that's probably the return line because it doesn't look high pressure. Uh, somehow or another, one guy said something about getting rid of the, oh, unhook the fuel filter, which is right there, that little black cylinder thing, I guess. He said, get that out of the way and give you more room. His might not have had cruise control, but I can see my cruise control is going to be my biggest obstacle. It's right in the way. Anyway, I took my meter and I hooked it up to that bolt shiny bolt right there which is where the power goes to the battery and then I grounded it and there was no reading so there's nothing coming out of the alternator I also checked my uh, well, let's see if you can see it down there it's gonna focus I checked the belt and the pulley to make sure it was turning because if it's froze up it'll just be spinning on there but it was turning so I'm pretty sure probably a rebuilt alternator and it's bad. So that's how I tested my alternator. And another thing you can do, which is easy on this one, once you have the car running, it in this case it was just starting and running off of the battery. So when the battery went dead, the car died. But once you have a fully charged battery, if you unhook your positive terminal, and the car keeps running, your alternator's working. In my case, as soon as the connection got loose, it died. So I knew the alternator wasn't putting anything out to the battery. Hope this helps you guys out if you're trying to figure out what's wrong, what, you know, if you're, why your battery keeps going dead. There's a lot of other things it could be, but maybe this will help you out. Thanks for watching. I'm going to make another quick video on replacing the alternator. Uh, I'm not going to go through every little step. I'm just going to show you kind of how to do it. And uh, show, hopefully, 
I'll show you how I got it out of there because it's a tight fit. I watched the video because I was thinking maybe I could drop it out of the bottom, but I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll keep trying to make videos. I haven't been making enough videos. I've been buying and selling cars really fast. Sometimes all I do is vacuum out and clean them and down the road they go. Haven't had a lot of mechanical issues. This one I was going to park it out by the road yesterday. Put a four cell sign on it. Then I drove up to look at another car and this one and it died. So then I knew I had an issue. This is a 2001 and it's got tires that are one year old but they have 50 miles on them. So it just set for the last year. The battery, same thing. Bought a year ago. Uh, hardly used it all. And the alternator was replaced. I'd have to look at the receipt six months ago, I guess. And it hasn't had any use. Maybe that's the problem with it. Just sat. Anyway, the car's not in bad shape for the age. Wheels are a little pitted. Back bumper's a little paint's peeling, but... It doesn't have a lot of big dents, so I'll be able to turn it over, make 500 bucks, something like that. If I make 500 bucks, I'm happy. Once in a while, I get lucky and I make a thousand dollars, and keep me in some extra money, you know, so my wife can go to the casino. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Good luck with your projects. Have a great day.